What's up? Raging Raven 5678 here, and welcome to Jedi Fallen Order. Alright, so. It, it happened again, people. <laughs> happened again. So sometimes when I record a video, it's not until I get to the editing part where I find out. Hey! My mic is muted the entire time. So. Oh, uh, this is like one of the worst videos I could have fucked up on, too, because. Alright. It's a situation, right? You know, what, I'm gonna go ahead and let this light play out, and then I'll, I'll we'll go on commentary as we're playing the game. So. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. Don't have to tell me twice. Ah, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seed, kid. Hi, right, and welcome to Dothamir, or whatever the fuck it was called. So, yeah, this place looks pretty cool. Look how beautiful that sky looks, also. Wow. And looking at the background, oh man, yo, in the sun? This place looks pretty damn cool. I love it. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I want to explain what's going on because I am going to get my butt kicked a lot. So, there you go. <laughs> That's the first death I got. So what happened uh, is that, you know, it was late at night, it was like half past 12, and it is pretty late for me because I usually don't stay up past like 11, uh, because you know, I, I'm a, I'm a kind of guy that lives by like a schedule, something like that, I try to wake up as early as I can in the morning. Um, so anyways, but this is, I recorded this the night before my vacation started, so I was like, you know, what, I'll get one more video in real quick, and then yeah, I'm, I'm getting my ass kicked. So, and, and I was doing this late at night, and I was already kind of tired, and, yeah, playing Souls-like game, late as fuck, is not good. Uh, as you can tell, like, I mean, my, I'm just not, like, my head is not in the game. I'm fighting this crazy enemy here, who does not stop swinging, and, oh man, if I actually do end up killing him, just watch, just watch what happens at the end. It is just insane. I think this is where I kill him. I need a spin, BD. Alright, all right, watch this. Ready? Look at his ace bar. Look at his HP bar. Got him, and... Boom. So, anyways, uh, at this point, I was like, you know what? I can definitely kill him. I can definitely do it. Um, so, you know, I'm just gonna keep trying again, and... <laughs> By the way, you're gonna see me fall off at this part a lot. Like, a lot more than you're gonna, like, actually want to see me fall off at this part. Luckily, it is not considered a death. So, thank God, too. Um, any platformers who, like, consider it a complete death, um, and that it's like a Souls-like game, uh, it, it, it sucks. It's gonna suck. So don't do it, uh, devs, if, uh, if you plan on making a like, Souls-born game, but, like, with platforming thingies. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah. So, I, I really got nothing to talk about. I, I guess I can just, uh, you know, and let you enjoy the fight and stuff like that. But um, once again, I, I mean, I forgot to record uh, my audio, so I figured, you know what, I'll just commentate over the video as I'm getting my ass whooped by this freaking thing. Like, Jesus, this thing does not stop hitting you. But I figured, like, you know, I can definitely beat it because, it, yeah, I mean, I, I've gone through it in Elden Ring. I can definitely go through it here again. Alright, so here's where I actually do end up killing the thing, but just watch my HP bar and watch how easily I managed to handle this fight. Um, it's just insane, like, the level of different, like, of, like, after dying a few times to this guy, I finally started to understand, like, his openings, like, when to attack and stuff like that. Plus, I had help from this spider thing, so... Not a big fan of spiders, but I, I definitely am a fan of that thing. And look at that. I still got two stems left, and I'm ready to go. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that's the thing, too, about these, like, Dark Souls games, or at least what I found out in Elden Ring, is that in, like, Elden Ring, when I go up against, like, a tough, difficult guy, um, 
I'll get my ass handed to me, but then once I, like, learn how to fight them, like, I can easily beat them, and, like, maybe, like, I'll probably take, like, maybe, like, one or two hits, and that's it. Uh, sometimes that's enough to kill you, but, I mean, sometimes it isn't. Uh, you just know what to dodge. And that's the cool thing I like about these, like, Souls-like games, that you definitely feel like you're improving overall. Um, and, yeah, you know, I, uh, screw it. This is, th this is how this commentary is gonna go, it's considering, you know, uh, I, you know, you, you can't hear my reactions to the main game, which, I mean, I wasn't really in the mood anyways. <laughs> I wasn't talking much, to be honest. And I was kind of like, uh, uh, through part of the video anyways, because, uh, the, a part where I accidentally backtracked by complete accident, and there was no way to get back to where I wanted to go, unless I had to go all the way around, and BD freaking scanning every ball sack that he can find, uh, was also kind of annoying, but, I think that was the last time he, uh, needed to scan something boring, um, but, oh my god, look at the background, yo, oh, this is so good, oh, and then, yeah, and I completely ambushed by this, uh, stupid spider here, too, I'm trying not to swear as much, too, uh, it's not something that I've been working on, it's just something that I decided, you know what, uh, I'm trying to keep this kid friendly, so fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Don't watch if you, if you if you let your kids watch any of these videos. By the way, uh, yeah. All right, so here's where I was like, you know what? I'm gonna clutch it out. I'm gonna nut it out. I'm gonna like beat. I'm gonna get to the next meditation zone. Uh, when with with this much HP and um. Yeah, it goes as much as you expected, and the way it died here was, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. So, yeah, let's see, I killed the guy, but then he had, once again, it's another enemy that, like, once you kill him, they have, like, one last thing to attack you with, and I died again to it. So, uh, anyways, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm about to fall off at this part, too, because I always do, for some reason. Oh no, I just pr pretty much became a god at climbing this uh, one stupid raptor thing all of a sudden. So yep, I have to go through it all over again. Uh, and thankfully you don't actually have to fight every enemy uh, over and over again, because that would just be that annoying. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure one of the Dark Souls game... Um, oh, by the way, what happened there is I was trying to uh, focus on one of the enemies in front of me, and for some reason decided to look at the enemy that he already jumped over, so... That was weird. Um, so one thing I remember about some of the Soulborn games is that, like, once you die uh, to a boss, you uh, it's, you have to go through the entire part again, uh, including like enemies and all that stuff. And I think I think Bloodborne does that or something like that. I'm not, I can't remember which one. It's not all of them. Uh, but at least in Elden Ring, like when you die to a boss, there's a state of uh, Madoka. Or Maruka, whatever you want to call it. I call it Maruka because, you know, it's made by Japanese developers, so I assume that's how they say it. Anyways, um, so, yeah, once you die, you respawn at Statue of Maruka, and you can just fight right then on, you know, and it, it's so hand-holdy, like, I love it. I mean, because it's my first Souls game, I don't mind it being hand-holding. But, um, yeah, go play Elden Ring, kids. It kicks ass. Anyways, um, so, yeah, so, I guess I can go ahead and start with, you know, my overall impressions of this game and the Soulsborne series itself, um, or like what I plan on doing. So yeah, this game is definitely hella freaking easy uh, compared to like other Soulsborne game. And I know I said I never played any of the other Soulsborne game. I've actually have tried out Dark Souls 3 like when it first came out because you know it was hyped up to crap. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna see what all the hype is about. I didn't even get to the first uh, boss fight, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was so sick too. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing to this guy. And... I don't think he died. I wasn't quite sure. It looked like he was doing moving, but... Whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I didn't even get to the first boss fight in Dark Souls 3. And it, and it wasn't just because it was just like hard, too hard for me. But also, like... A warning? I, I really... I don't know. Some Something about the Souls game that really didn't catch my attention at the time. Um, like, I guess to me, it was kind of just another RPG adventure game, but just really hard. Um, I didn't know the satisfaction of, uh, you know, taking forever on a boss and then, like, eventually beating it, uh, to your best content. Like, it is just, it's so satisfying, like, when, 
And I didn't I didn't feel that way until I started playing Elden Ring. So that's how late to the party I'm at. Um, so like, or in other words, when I started this YouTube channel, I, w I didn't give a damn about you know the Soulsborne game. But now I really want to get into the Soulsborne game, and I have such a big love for uh, Lovecrafting stuff because you know Lovecraft is uh, my favorite author. Um, I'm I, I'm told that Bloodborne has a lot of inspiration of Lovecrafty and stuff, so I'm definitely, like, gonna get my hands, we're definitely gonna go through Bloodborne, gonna get my hands on it, um, oh yeah, that was just, yeah, I basically just got gangbanged by the spider, what alright, so here, you know, I, I, I skipped up ahead, because, you know, you don't want to see me climbing that awesome bind again, I mean, it was just so amazing, uh, now I remember, oh yeah, I got the shortcut, but then before I actually wanted to, like, take the shortcut, I was like, you know what, I'm getting my stuff back, so, went ahead, She's like, oh shit, you bitch! And just smacked him in the face with my lightsaber a couple times. It was awesome. Alright, anyways, um, but yeah, so definitely want to get my hands on the Soulsborne game. Uh, but that's pretty much my experience with the Soulsborne series. Is that I only played Dark Souls 3 a little bit, and that was it. Uh, I haven't touched any of the other games. Um, it was my first, so Dark Souls 3 is my first entry to the Soulsborne series. It wasn't for me at the time. And here we go. Now, with, with the exception of Elden Ring, which which just came out this year, um, as soon as I fought the Tree Sentinel guy, anyone who's played Elden Ring knows the very first dude that you see like upon entering the open world. Um, yeah, that guy was tough as nails. But after I spent maybe like 45 to a minute, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch this cutscene. So, BRB. Looks like the Zephyr were here. The place seems abandoned, but... You trespass, Jedi. You must be a night sister. I had heard you were all dead. Not all. Dothamir is forbidden to you. Leave at once. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that, but perhaps we could help each other. You see, I... Easy. I'm not your enemy. Your actions say otherwise. Wait, hold on. I'm not here to... Oh yeah, now I remember. So anyways, after spending like 45 to uh, like an hour and a half on that first boss and finally beating him, that dopamine just splooshed all over my head. Um, like I had a, I had an adrenaline rush. I was hyped, you know, I was ready for him. I'm like, I understand why people like these Soulsborne games. It is so hard, but once you finally beat them, like, it, there's a satisfaction that just rushes through your head and that just makes me fall in love with the, the series. Like, now, like, I, I'm super hyped into the series. I got Demon Souls for the PS5, but I'm, I haven't, uh, I, I have played a little bit of it, but nothing to really, uh, let me know what the hell I'm doing <laughs> other than trying not to die. Um, so that is the next game that I do plan on uh, going into Demon Souls, and then after that we'll go into the Dark Souls series. Um, but yeah, uh, and when are we going to be doing the Soulsborne games like stuff? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, the reason why I started here was because before my vacation, I was trying to figure out what game I was wanting to play, and I went through a couple of games. I went through Assassin's Creed Unity, and kind of got bored of it because once you got to the open world part. It was kind of hard to figure out what I want to talk about because I kind of save all that stuff for Skyrim. Um, so I wasn't really feeling Unity. I tried Dragon Dogma and the exact same thing happened. So I was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't try an open world game. So then I think when I was at work, you know, I just had a random thought about, you know, like Jedi Fallen Order, uh, you know, coming to a sequel. And it's like, I never played that game. Oh yeah, that's like a Soulsborne game, right? And I've been wanting to play the Soulsborne series like and put on YouTube for like a while uh, thing is that I knew that I, you know when it comes to these Soulsborne games that I probably won't finish it unless I started putting it on YouTube so I was like you know what let's start it let's start this the, the, the a new YouTube series and stuff like that so there we go that guy just got owned by the way it was sick he just flew off the edge um, anyway so yeah uh, that's how I basically you know I guess started this YouTube series that we're going to go through now um, so I'm not an expert or a god or anything like that so I'm definitely gonna die a lot 
I'm expecting it anyways. And I don't know, I guess I've died a lot on this, uh, on this difficulty Grandmaster was, I mean, honestly, sometimes I kind of forget that this is actually, like, a difficulty setting. I feel like, oh yeah, uh, real quick, right here, so I was like, you know, I can do totally better, uh, than what I did the first time, so, yeah, once again, just watch how well I just do this, but, like, look, I only took one hit, where, like, the first time I went through, I think I took, like, two stems. So, anyways, I feel like this is, like, the default difficulty. Uh, if I was to ask, like, if anybody from the Souls community, oh, yeah, what a prick, yo, uh, asked me, like, oh, you know, is it, Jedi Grandmaster hard? I'm like, no, but it feels like it's definitely the difficulty the game was meant to be played on. Um, like, I feel like this is definitely how the game should have been, but knowing that... Uh, I think they wanted to make this game more accessible to people and stuff like that, but they still wanted like a Soulsborne like gameplay style. Uh, you know, of course they couldn't they didn't want to make it as hard as um as the Souls games usually are. And I'm cool I'm totally cool with that. You know, like I said, uh, for our first Soulsborne game that we're going through on YouTube too, I mean I'm maybe I should be glad that it's not as hard as the other one. Because this should technically be maybe decent practice to the Soulsborne game. Now I'm pretty now I'm expecting the Soulsborne games to be way hard. And when I'm talking about Soulsborne game, I'm talking about Demon Soul, Dark Soul, Bloodborne. I'm expecting them to like beat my ass to oblivion. Um so maybe I'm maybe playing Jedi Fallen Order isn't the best way I can technically quote unquote train uh for those games. But this is what we're doing. This is how uh we're doing it because I mean I've already started so anyways um also real quick uh plans so once I come back from my vacation uh which should be the following week after you know I set after this video um we're definitely gonna go back on Sherlock's Holmes and finish that game up and then we'll come back here and finish up Fallen Order uh and then it should be it'll probably be the end of August or, or right around September so I do plan on doing some more Resident Evil games. I think I'm going to save uh, the Resident Evil game for... Oh my god. By the way, this wall just basically embarrassed me. There we go. I managed to do it somehow. Anyways, um... Oh, I see this jump cut coming up. Oh yeah, I remember. So remember when I was telling that I made a stupid mistake and I basically had to backtrack all the way back around here? There you go. Yep. I fucked up. Okay, so yeah, so Resident Evil, right? So I definitely plan on doing uh, Resident Evil very soon. We got Resident Evil 4 coming out, which I'm, yo, I'm 100% like, no, I'm probably 90% on deck with it. I just hope that the game is definitely longer uh, than Resident Evil 3, because Resident Evil 3 Remastered was definitely, uh, it was, okay. On the one hand, I can totally understand where uh, Capcom was coming from. Um, I can definitely understand that, like, they took some heart pa part of their time making the resistance, uh, thing. Which could have worked, but it was so imbalanced. Um, but, they took the time to make that game, and it cost them time to make Resident Evil 3. And Resident Evil 3 just ended up missing a whole lot of content. Like, they have an entire level missing, like, the bell clock tower missing. Um, it's just, it sucks balls. But Resident Evil 2, which is our next, uh, one, it's gonna introduce Leon Kennedy to Resident Evil series, who is by far the most popular Resident Evil character in the entire universe. Um, was, I mean, cool. He's not my favorite. I prefer Chris Redfield. I've always been that military cool guy. But, whatever. Um, but yeah, and since he's gonna be our protagonist and uh resident evil 4 i might as well i have i feel like i have to play resident evil 2 before resident evil 4. um what's i've already i have i've already played every resident evil game except code veronica um but uh you know just for like the sake of youtube and stuff like that you know i'll definitely 
uh, play it then too. And then eventually we're gonna do Resident Evil 6, and I'm gonna bring back the homie, uh, Magna Garmer, or, uh, Scott, you know, his real name, I'm not pretty sure he doesn't care if I say his real name, because not like, somebody below, Scott, Magna Garmer, okay, I know exactly where he lives, uh, he lives in, uh, Africa, or something like that. Um, oh, I got a cutscene coming up here, so, talk more about it soon. Our fellow wanderer. I see you met the resident knight sister, but, uh, like most, you're alive. <laughs> well, lightsaber, no, no, don't hide it. That would explain your survival. Who are you? You have no, no, no one to fear. <laughs> Just a traveler, studying the nature of extinct cultures and dead philosophies. You study the Night Sisters? I study many things. But yes, that. Night sister, or oh. she was only a child when the war came to this world. She had to watch her whole family perish. What do you know about those ruins? Oh, uh, ancient beyond belief. The night sister and her warrior kin were seduced by the power that lurks within. Avoid the ruin. Or suffer the same thing. But yeah, uh, we're definitely playing Resident Evil 6, so this is a co-op game, and it's basically gonna bring like all like the main characters back, except Claire. I don't know why they didn't bring back Claire. Anyways, uh, so to talk about what just happened in that cutscene, uh, I was meant I was gonna say yeah. that my yeah. bullshit radar is pinging yeah. and i don't know what happened after this yeah. uh, episode it's like the last episode i made i don't know what's going to happen after this but i feel like that wonder guy is more than just a wonder uh it's just like he looks so unarmed and so innocent yet this planet is like dangerous as hell like everything is kill trying to kill you like i mentioned a couple of times uh when i thought i was recording my audio that this planet is basically the Australia of Star Wars. Like, everything it wants to kill you. The plants, the animals, the birds. You know, everything wants to freaking kill you. Um, so, yeah, I, I felt like that guy was, was a little sus or something like that. So, anyways, just about two minutes. Oh, yeah, hang on a second. Double blade lightsaber. Double blade lightsaber excels at crowd control. Use the force attack to overwhelm and clear large group. Um, and then continue blocking the acid, successfully reflecting a blaster bolt to reflect additional bolts back at enemies. So basically, this thing is, is good to put pressure on it, uh, put pressure on enemies. Um, but I'm not entirely sure how much of a good idea to, to do that. Uh, actually, probably it's a good idea. Uh, because there are some enemies that I've figured out that the best way to kill them is to be aggressive. Um, like the ATST and that troll thing that, you know, killed me a dozen times uh, back a couple of years ago. But yeah, anyways, uh, so there's about two minutes left of the video, so I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, rest my voice, because I just got done recording the last two episodes of Skyrim as well, uh, so my throat is starting to hurt a bit from talking a lot. Um, but anyways, uh, see so ya. Yeah. So once again, we'll, uh, we'll get back on this game pretty soon, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up Starlock's Home first, and then, yeah, there we go. Uh, so... I know it was just me just rambling on and just talking about random stuff. There's really no, like, pace of tracks to stick with. But, um, I mean, that's kind of how these videos go. And I, I, and I, and I don't know. It's just, it's just, like, after watching the video when I thought I was recording, but it wasn't recording. Oh, yeah, here I thought, you know, maybe I can climb this rope, but I doubt it. And, uh, guess what happened? You'll never believe it. I just go right through it. Anyways, um, I know this... I know it's kind of random and weird how, um, I, I don't know, I don't know, man. It's, uh, the, like, I'm, I'm basically just, like, uh, what do you call it? I was about to call it sauntering, but sauntering is actually when you're walking aimlessly. So, yeah, oh, this guy can't die, by the way. I, I'm still calling bullshit on this, dude. They're calling bullshit. So. Alright, well, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and stop, uh, talking, cause, uh, yeah, I'm ready to, uh, go get some food, I'm starving, so, uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode when we are back live, so, see you later.